Shabbat, Shabbat Adonai. Welcome to the sixth Exodus program again. The name of this segment is called Comfort for God's People. Subtopic Who is God? Okay, let's begin. My people say, Your God speaks tenderly to Jerusalem and cry to her that her warfare is ended and her iniquities is pardoned, that she has received from the hands of God double for all her sins. A voice cries in the wilderness, prepare the way of the Lord, make straight in the desert a highway for our God. Every valley shall be lifted up, and every mountain, and every hill be made low. The uneven ground shall become level, and the rough plains be plain, and the glory of the Lord shall be revealed, and all flesh shall see it together. For every mouth of the Lord has spoken. A voice cry, and I said, What shall I cry? All flesh is grass, and all its beauty is like the flower of the field. The grass withers, the flower fades. When the breath of the Lord blows on it, surely the people are grass. Grass withers and flower fades, but the word of the Lord God stands forever. Go up on the high mountain, O Zion, herald of good news. Lift up your voice with its strength, O Jerusalem, herald of good news. Lift it up, fear not. Say to the cities of Judah, Behold, your God. Behold, the Lord God comes with might, and his arm rules with him. Behold, his reward is with him and his recompense before him. He will tend his flocks like a shepherd. He will gather the lambs in his arms. He will carry them in his bosom and greatly lead them and lead those that are with young. Who has measured the waters and the hollows of his hand and marked off the heavens with a span and closed the dust of the earth in a measure and weighed the mountains in scales and the hills in a balance who has measured the spirit of the Lord or what man showed him his counsel whom did he consult and who made him understand and who taught him the path of justice and who taught him knowledge? Who showed him the way of understanding? Behold, the nations are like a drop in a bucket and are accounted as the dust on a scale. Behold, he takes up the coastlands like fine dust. Lebanon would not be sufficient for fuel, nor are the beasts enough for a burnt offering. All the nations are nothing before him. They are accounted by him as less than nothing and emptiness. To whom will you liken God? Or what likeness compare with him? An idol? A craftsman's cast? A tra craftsman casts it with a goldsmith overlays it with gold and casts it for silver chains he who has improvised for an offering choose wood that it will not rot he seeks out a skillful craftsman to set up an idol that will not move do you not know do you not hear 
Has it been told you from the beginning? Have you not understood from the foundations of the earth? It is he who sits above the circle of the earth and its inhabitants are like grasshoppers who stretches out the heavens like a curtain and spreads him like a tent to dwell in who bring the princess to nothing and makes the rulers of the earth as emptiness. Scarcely are they planted, scarcely sown, scarcely has his stem taken root in the earth. Then he blows on them and they wither and the tempest carries them off like a stubble. To whom then will you compare me? That I shall be like him, says the Holy One. Lift up your eyes on high and see who created these. He who brings out their hosts by number, calling them all by name, by the greatness of his might. And because he is strong in power, not one is missing. Why do you say, O Jacob, and speak, O Israel? My way is hidden from the Lord, and my right is disregarded by my God. Have you not known? Have you not heard? The Lord is an everlasting God, the creator of the ends of the earth. He does not faint nor grow weary. His understanding is unsearchable. He gives power to the faint, and to him who has no might, he increases strength. Even youth shall faint and be weary. A young man shall fail and be exhausted. But they that wait for the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings like eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. Listen to me in silence, O coastland. Let the people renew their strength. Let them reproach and let them speak. Let us gather together, draw near for judgment. Who stares up one of the east? Whom victory meets at every step? Who gives up nations for him? So that he tramples kings on the foot. He makes them like dust with his with his sword. He drives in stubbles with his with his bow. He pursues them and passes on safely. By paths his feet have not trod. Who has performed and done this? Calling the generations from the beginning. I, the Lord, the first. And with the last, I am he. The coastlands have seen and are afraid. The ends of the earth tremble and have drawn near and come. Everyone helps his neighbor and say to his brother, be, be strong. The craftsman strengthens the goldsmith. And he who smooths his hammer, him who strikes the anvil, saying to the solderer, it is good. And they strengthen it with nails so that it cannot be moved. But you, Israel, my servant Jacob, whom I have chosen, the offspring of Abraham, my friend, you whom I took from the ends of the earth and called from his father's corners, saying to you, you are my servant. I have chosen you and not cast you off. Fear not, I am with you. Be not dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you. I will help you. I will uphold you with my right hand. Behold, all who are incensed against you will be put to shame and confounded. Those who strive against you shall be as nothing and shall perish. You shall seek those who contend with you, but you shall not find them. Those who war against you shall be as nothing at all. For I, the Lord your God, hold your right hand. It is I, 
who say to you, fear not. I am the one who helps you. Fear not, you worm Jacob, you men of Israel. I am the one who helps you, declares the Lord. Your Redeemer is the Holy One of Israel. Behold, I make of you a threshing straight, new sharp, and having teeth. You shall thresh the mountains and crush them, and you shall make the hills a chaff. You shall winnow them, and the wind shall carry them away, and the temple shall scatter them, and you shall rejoice in the Lord. In the Holy One of Israel you shall glory. When the poor and needy seek water, there is none, and their tongue is parched with thirst. I, the Lord, will answer them, and the God of Israel will not forsake them. I will open the rivers on the bare heights, the fountains in the midst of the valley. I will make the wilderness a pool of water, and the dry land springs of water. I will put in the wilderness a cedar, the Arcadia and myrtle, and the olive. I will set in the depths cypress, the plain and the pine together, that they may see and know and, and consider and understand altogether that the hand of the Lord has done this. The Holy One of Israel has created it. Set forth your case, say the Lord, bring your proof, say the king of Jacob. Let them, let, the, let them bring them and tell them what is to happen. Tell us the former things, what they are, that we may consider them, that we may know their outcome, or declare to us the things to come. Tell us what is to come here hereafter that we may know that you are God do good or do harm that we may be dismayed and terrified behold you are nothing and your works is less than nothing an abomination is he who chooses you I stir up one from the north and he has come from the rising of the sun, and he shall call upon my name. He shall trample on rulers and on motors. As the potter treads the clay, who declares it from the beginning, that we might know, and beforehand that we might say, He is right. There is none who declares it, none who proclaims none, who hears your words. I was the first to say to Zion, Behold, here are, here they are, and I will give to Jerusalem a herald of good news. But when I looked, there was no one. Among these, there is no counselor, who, when I ask, give an answer, Behold, they are all delusion, their works are nothing. Their metal images are empty wind. Behold, my servant, whom I uphold, my chosen, and whom my soul delighted. I have put my spirit upon him. He will bring to justice to nations. He will not cry out loud or lift up his voice or make it heard in the streets. A bruised reed he will not break and a faintly burning wick he will not quench. He will faithfully bring forth justice. He will not grow faint or be discouraged till he established justice in the earth, and the coastland waits for his law. Thus says God, the Lord who created the heavens and stretched them out, who spread it out the earth, and what comes from it, he gives breath to the people on it, the spirit to those who walk in it. I am the Lord. 
I call you in righteousness. I will take you by the hand and keep you. I will give to you as a covenant for the people, a light for the nations, to open the eyes that are blind, to bring out the prisoners from the dawn, from the prisons, those who sit in darkness. I am the Lord, that is my name. My glory I will not give to another, nor my praise to graven idols. Behold, the former things have come to pass, and new things I now declare. Before they spring forth, I will tell you of them. Sing to the Lord a new song, his praise from the ends of the earth. You who go down to the sea, and all that fills it, the coastlands and their inhabitants, let the desert and its cities lift up their voice, the villages that Kedar inhabits. Let the inhabitants of Selah sing for joy. Let them shout for the top of the mountains. Let them give glory to the Lord and declare his praise in the coastland. The Lord goes out like a mighty man. Like a man of war, he stirs up his zeal. He cries out, he shouts aloud. He shows himself mighty against his foes. For a long time I have held my peace. I have kept silent. I have kept still and refrained myself. Now I will cry out like a woman in labor. I will grasp and pant. I will lay waste mountains and hills I will dry, all, dry up all vegetation. I will turn the rivers into islands. I will dry up the pools. I will lead the blind in a way they have not known, in paths that they have not known. I will guide them. I will turn their darkness before them into light, the rough places into level ground. These are the things I will do. And I do not forsake them. They are turned back and utterly put to shame. Who trust engraving the idols? Who say to metal images, You are my gods? Hear, you deaf, and look, you blind, that you may see. Who is blind? but my servant, or deaf as my messenger, whom I send, who is blind as a dedicated one, or blind as a servant of the Lord. He sees many things, but does not observe them. He hears, his ears are open, but he does not hear. The Lord was pleased for his righteousness sake, to magnify his law and to make it glorious. But this is a people plundered and looted. There are all of them trapped in holes and hidden in prison. They have become plundered with none to rescue the spoil, with none to say restore. Whom among you will give ear to this, will attend and listen for the time to come. Who gave up Jacob to the looter and Israel to the plunderer? Was it the Lord against whom we have sinned? In whose way would they not walk? In whose law they would not obey? So he poured on them the heat of his anger and the might of battle. I set him on fire all around, but he did not understand. It burned him up, but he did not take it to heart. But now, thus says the Lord, He who created you, O Jacob, He who formed you, O Israel, Fear not, for I have redeemed you. I have called you by name. You are mine. 
when you pass through the waters, I will be with you. And through the rivers, they shall not overwhelm you. When you walk through the fire, it shall not be burned. A flame shall not consume you. For I am the Lord your God, the Holy One of Israel, your Savior. I give Egypt as a ransom, Cush and Sheba in exchange for you, because you are precious in my eyes and honored, and I love you. I give men in return for you, people in exchange for your life. Fear not, for I am with you. I will bring your offspring from the east and from the west. I will gather you. I will say to the north, give up, and to the south, do not withhold. Bring my sons from afar and my daughters from the ends of the earth, everyone who is called by my name, whom I have created for my glory, whom I have formed and made. Bring out the people who are blind, yet have eyes, who are deaf, yet have ears. All the nations gather together, and the people assemble who are among them declare this and show us the former things. Let them bring their witness to prove them right, and let them hear and say, It is true. You are my witness, declares the Lord, and my servant whom I have chosen, that you may know and believe me and understand that I am he. Before me there is no God formed, nor shall there be any after me. I, I am the Lord. And besides me, there is no Savior. I declare and save and proclaim. When there was no strange God among you, you are my witnesses, declares the Lord, and I am God. Also, henceforth, I am He. There is none who can deliver you out of my hand. I work, and I can turn it back. Thus says the Lord, your Redeemer, the Holy One of Israel, for your sake, I send to Babylon and bring them all down as fugitives, even the Chaldeans and the ships in which they rejoice. I am the Lord, your Holy One, the Creator of Israel, your King. Thus says the Lord, who makes the way in the sea. A path for the mighty waters, who bring forth chariots and horses, army and warriors. They lie down, they cannot rise. They are extinguished, quenched like a wreck. Remember not the former things, nor consider the things of old. Behold, I am doing a new thing. Now, this springs forth. Do you not perceive it? I will make a way in the wilderness, the rivers and deserts. The wild beasts will honor me, the jackals and the ostriches. For I will give water to the wilderness, rivers and the desert, to give drink to my chosen people, the people whom I have formed for myself, that they may declare my praise. Yet you did not call upon me, O Jacob, but you have been weary of me, O Israel. You have not brought me your sheep in burnt offerings, or honored me with sacrifices. I have not burdened you with offerings, or wearied you with frankincense. You have not brought me sweet cane with money, or satisfied me with fat of your sacrifices, but you have burdened me with your sins. You have wearied me with your iniquities. I, I am he who blotted out your transgressions for my own sake, and I will not remember your sins. Put me in remembrance, and let us argue together. Set forth your case, that you may be proven right. Your first father sinned, and your mediators transgressed against me. Therefore, well, I will profane the the princes in the sanctuary, and deliver Jacob to utter destruction, and Israel to rebellions. 
But now, hear, O Jacob, my servant, Israel, whom I have chosen. Thus says the Lord, who made you, who formed you from the womb, I will help you. Fear not, O Jacob, my servant, Jeshurun, whom I have chosen, for I will pour water on a thirsty land, the streams on dry ground, and I will pour out my spirit upon your offsprings and my blessings on your descendants. They shall spring up amongst the grass like willows of flowing streams. This one will say, I am the Lord's. Another will call on the name of Jacob, and another will write on his hand the Lord's, and a name himself by the name of Israel. <laughs> 